ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so I want to come out here and talk about the whole Wendy Williams situation. Well, it definitely looks like the Daily Mail is keeping their damn foot on Wendy's neck, okay? So as we reported the other day, Wendy Williams broke down crying and basically admitted to the world that she was living in sober living because she's dealing with addictions. And so now the Daily Mail is reporting this. They're basically saying that what caused Wendy to relapse was the fact that she found out that Mr. Hunter, her husband, Kevin, is still with his side chick, 33-year-old mistress, Sharina Hudson. So this is what they're saying. Okay, saying that the two have been dating for over a decade. During that time, Hudson has given Hunter several ultimatums to leave his wife of 22 years. However, sources say that Hunter has declined to do this because Wendy pays all the bills. Kevin is in love with Sharina, but he told her he can't leave his wife, but the only reason he is still with Wendy is because he and Sharina can't take care of themselves. They need her money, basically, to fund their damn lifestyle, okay? How you doing? They also went on to state that Sharina is living in a very nice apartment in Manhattan. He pays for it. He got her a studio in Midtown for one of her many businesses that he supports. He put her through school to be a massage therapist. He opened a kiosk for her at a mall in North Carolina, where she's from. He also helped set up her her jewelry and clothing line online called Vish, but none of her businesses have been successful. Despite his double life, Hunter is still living with Hudson, and Williams has decided to stand by her man, because as we all remember when she came back to the show, she's like, we're still together, that's my man, I'm not going nowhere, he ain't going nowhere. I want to shout out to my husband. I'm still very much in love with my husband. Marriages are not easy. Don't ask me about mine until you see this gone. Well, technically, he's going somewhere every night, okay? But they're still trying to put on this facade to the world that they're a happy married couple. Now, what's even crazier is this. They're saying that every time Wendy travels to Miami for the weekend, Sharina also travels, but she stays at a separate hotel down the street. And now what's even sadder is that basically yesterday, Sharina posted some pictures of her and Kevin on the beach in Miami, chilling, living their best damn life, okay? So this seems to be the real reason why Wendy's going crazy. Y'all go ahead and check out this news clip. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Wendy's free fall supposedly began in December when she suspected her husband of cheating and hired a private eye. Rumor is when she discovered he was still involved with his 33-year-old mistress, the pair got into a heated argument. A source tells Daily Mail TV she confronted Kevin and during the row, she fell to the ground and broke her shoulder. I have a hair fracture on my right shoulder. Wendy apparently plunged into a depression and started drinking heavily. Her fans were shocked when she slurred her words on live TV. Our first guests are an iconic hip hop. She said pain pills were to blame. A source says Kevin sent her to a high-end rehab facility in Delray Beach, Florida. When she returned to New York last month, she moved into the sober living home. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. And what I find funny about the situation is that I think back to the whole Wendy and Whitney Houston interview, how she was talking down to Whitney, talking about her drug abuse. Then she had the nerve to tell Whitney that she was able to overcome drugs because she has a good man. So again, you never know where you'll be in the future. That's why it's not good to judge anybody too harshly. Let me go ahead and play this clip for you guys. Check this out. So Whitney, as, as far as you stand with drug use, is there drug use going on at this present time? Who are you talking to? To you, Whitney. You. No, you're not talking to me. I'm a mother. Only my mother has privy to that information. You talk to your child about that. Don't yeah. ask me no questions like I'm a child. You talk to your baby about her, what, what she gonna be uh, confronting or what she gotta deal with. And, uh, and, and, Don't ask me like I'm a child because I'm not a child, Wendy. My child is a little boy and I will talk to him yeah, about drugs. About that shit. Don't talk to me about that shit. But listen, Whitney, what, I, I, I will talk to my son about drugs because I have Don't been me, where Wendy. the Don't world speculates thing. where you Don't are, me, which is... Uh, I was a full-blown cocaine addict, so well, I... I problem, not mine. Move on. Well, you know, that was my problem, Whitney. Uh, you helped yourself. Did you ask God to help you? And, no, I, I managed, thank God, because I have a good man. And, and, so, and so thank God I was able to to just rise up Thank above God, it Wendy. and quit. And all I ask is, okay, okay. And you on Diane Sawyer also.
All right, you just heard that clip. Miss Whitney was not here for the fuck shit, okay? And it's funny that she's saying that Kevin helped her with her drug addiction. She has a good man. And fast forward, damn near 20 years later, the same good man is now causing her to go backwards and get re-addicted back to her drug addiction, okay? So this entire situation is sad. Once again, I wish Wendy the best. I think at this point in time, this woman is basically throwing this in her face. Kevin does not care. I think she's better off divorcing him, moving on with her life, cutting him a check, letting him do what he wants to do, and then her continuing on with her career, continuing on with her life. Because I don't care. There's nothing better than having peace of mind, knowing that you're not getting played, knowing that you're not getting cheated on, knowing that you're not at risk to getting an STD. I think that's the best peace of mind. And I think that that's what Wendy Williams needs to really consider doing in this situation. Because what's going on now, and especially with the side piece posting pictures, and she's so proud, she's no longer a secret. I think at this point in time, Wendy needs to cut off her losses. But anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey. Once again, concerning Wendy, Kevin Hunter, and his side chick, Serena Hudson. Um, how do you guys feel about this situation? How do you feel about Serena posting their pictures? And do you think that Wendy will ever leave Kevin or will she just continue to put up with his cheating ways? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.